you want to connect your microcontroller with internet you need an IoT platform. In this video tutorial uh, we will be using Blink app for this scenario which is quite sufficient for uh, basic and inter intermediate projects. If you are using the ESP module first time you can watch my other video for interfacing the ESP modules and you can also download the uh, link in the description for the projects used in this video. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, you can subscribe my channel and hit, hit the black bell icon for latest updates. First of all, you need to download the Blink app uh, from the Play Store. Uh, after downloading it, you can simply open the Blink app. Now you have to provide your valid email address. After providing the valid email address and password, you can simply sign it up. After that, you can make a new project and uh, you can simply name it as test or anything you want and uh, you have to provide the board. I am using the ESP32 dev board and the medium I am going to use is the Wi-Fi medium. So I am going to create, create the project. After creating the project, uh, it will send you the authentication token. You need to copy this authentication token and paste it on your Arduino code. In your Arduino code authentication bar, you need to paste the authentication code and write the valid uh, name of your wife and enter the password. Now we are going to have a look on the top 10 projects. The first project is blinking the LED. We, we will uh, be using uh, the LED widget from uh, Blink app. Select the pin to V7. And after assigning the pin to V7 on your Blink app, just open the project one. Uh, follow the circuit diagram. And uh, after following the circuit diagram, you just have to upload this code to your ESP module. I am using ESP32. I will upload this into ESP32. The LED I am going to use is the built-in LED, which is uh, connected on the pin number uh, D2 on your ESP32 module. Uh, this is basically the code for uh, blinking uh, of the LED on virtually on your Blink app. So this is basically the command. Uh, while uploading the code, if you have connected the capacitor. On enable and GND win that's fine otherwise you have to press the uh, boot button now we will uh, select the virtual button we can select the virtual as well as a digital button first of all we will uh, be using the virtual button you can use it as the push button or the switch button uh, first of all change the pin uh, pin number of your button from digital to virtual and I am using the virtual pin V0 for this button. The, the advantage of using the virtual pin is that your um, ESP module is not busy in that scenario. We will upload the project 2 code which is the virtual button LED. And uh, we will be assigning uh, as we have already assigned the virtual pin to V0. So it, uh, the, Arduino, the ESP module read the uh, data coming from the v0 pin and this command will be helpful for reading the data and uh, uh, put the value uh, coming from your rd uh, coming from your blink app to pin value and if the pin value is one it will simply turn on the led uh, virtually as well as on your on your hardware and if not so it will turn off the led so with the help of the button, you can simply connect it. And the physical button, the advantage of using the physical button is that you can uh, simply control your LEDs with the with the physical button as well as with the virtual button. But for that, you have to change the values from one to zero because you are going to take the button as an input pull-up resistor with your pull-up resistor. Open the project three, follow the circuit diagram, and uh, assign the button uh, the value assign button the value uh, we are going to assign it we are going to basically assign the button on, uh, connect the button on pin number 23 with the input built-in input pull up of your arduino uh, when it will detect the value low value it will turn on the led otherwise it will turn off the led 
you can see on the demo. We can also control the brightness of your LED. For that, uh, select the button to, to the virtual mod, open the project 4. In project 4, follow this circuit diagram, connect one LED to pin number 2 and the other one to pin number 4. While opening the code, paste the authentication token, Wi-Fi and the other stuff when it will detect the value from coming from your blink app it will simply assign it will simply change the brightness of your led one led will glow and the other one will dim at the same time and this code will run repeatedly We can also use a slider to change the brightness of your LED. Go into the blink and uh, select the slider, slider widget and assign this as a virtual pin number 4 and uh, the resolution is set from 0 to 1023. You can set it at send on release or send after release. Open the project 5, follow the circuit diagram click on uh, the project slider code upload this code into your um, uh, ESP module uh, basically we have connected on v virtual pane number 4 so uh, the data coming from uh, coming by using this command will be stored in the brightness and with the help of that the brightness of your LED will be the brightness of your LED will be changed you can see that if we increase the uh, if we move the slider to the higher side, the brightness of your LED will be mm, will be high. We can use the RGB LED, which is a very uh, nice phenomena to study the spectrum of lights. We are going to connect the uh, physical button, follow the circuit diagram, open the code and uh, on that when we press the button, uh, copy this authentication code, authentication token and other stuff, connect the button on pin number 23 with the input pull, built in input pull up. When, we, when you press the button uh, which is connected on the pin number 23 or if you virtually connect, press the button on your blink app. It will start the spectrum and it will show you the complete spectrum of light on your single LED. This one is a very interesting project in which you can select the ZRGB widget, which is a very satisfying widget. You can, uh, you can simply select the values of this widget by changing the by changing it selecting the widget to the virtual v1 pin and the other one on v2 and the last one on the virtual v3 pin the red one on that when you when you change when you select any color it will when you select any color it will change the brightness of it will change the color of your led accordingly now you can select the gauge for detecting some data select the gauge assign the pin, assign it to the pin number v4 sorry v5 and change its resolution from 0 to 100 so open the project and uh, upload this code this is basically the simple command when you touch uh, on t0 pin which is uh, the gpio 4 pin and when you press when you connect the uh, wire on gpio 4 pin and press uh, and touch the wire it will basically change the value of your slider on, on your off your gauge when you touch the wire it will change the value of your we can also connect the potentiometer for that we are going to use the lab level widget 
open the level widget assign it on the value v9 change change its resolution from 0 to 4095 and uh, open the code uh, follow the circuit diagram open the potentiometer code click on the code potential connect your potentiometer on pin number 34 uh, do not forget to, to copy paste the authentication token and wi-fi password connect the uh, when you connect the potentiometer on the 34 number pin by changing the value of the potentiometer it will change the level of your virtual level meter the same code goes with the uh, goes with the potentiometer by selecting the gauge we can also select the gauge assign the gauge value as v9 change its resolution from 0 to 4093 or 4095 and when you change the potentiometer value potentiometer knob it will in it will show the increment or decrement on your gauge so these are the 10 projects you can subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon if you like this video